all currencies have a lot of debt. And so when you look at one relative to the other, there will be a lot of printing. So when we talk about markets and the economy and all of these things, we have to realize, for example, that um, there's a great internal politics, populism of the left and populism of the right, and the polarity is becoming greater. It's entirely possible that neither side accepts losing the uh, 2024 elections. Internal conflict will have a big effect. It's funny because, you know, everybody says, um, okay, uh, there'll be seven increases or something like that, and that sounds like a lot. Uh, but you're taking interest rates up to something like 2%. And that 2%, um, which starts to squeeze the capital market, start, starts to make it more difficult for uh, a holder of equities because the equity, when, when you raise the return on bonds and you raise the return on cash and you tighten money, then that makes um, other assets less attractive, such as risky assets, particularly long duration assets like tech stocks and the like. Uh, so you produce that, that squeeze, yes, but that's still only at 2% or a little bit over 2% with an inflation rate, which is considerably higher than that. We've had a 7% inflation rate and we'll probably settle, um, it'll be uh, a 5%-ish or something. And so you're still losing uh, that money to inflation, people are. So what you have is an, um, an enough tightening by the Federal Reserve to deal with inflation adequately is too much tightening for the markets and uh, the economy. So the F Fed is going to be in a very difficult place a year from now as inflation still remains high and it starts to pinch on both the markets and the economy. If you're borrowing more money than you're lending and you have a lot of debt, you either are going to pay back in hard money or in soft money. And so it creates a very difficult trade-off. Um, so what can you do? Do you spend less money? Um, so that the trade-off becomes more and more difficult. And that's what is br brings about a stagflation environment. You pay it back in hard money or you pay it back in soft money. You pay it back in hard money and you have... Um, a problem. Um, you have a depression. So throughout history, uh, whenever that was done, paid back in hard money, uh, eventually um, that was abandoned and you uh, print money. That was what 71 was. That was what March 1933 was. And so um, I think that what you have to think about is the value of money. How much money does one have in debt instruments? And um, do you want to own that as an asset? Uh, I, I think it, I think they're bad assets. And so uh, and then how do you diversify? And the system also has to deal with um, what is money? What is money? Is uh, is the dollar going to remain um, the same sort of reserve currency? Um, and then you see the development of alternative monies. We're seeing a variety. I think different types of money will compete with each other in the environment we're in. Maybe it's um, crypto, maybe it's uh, maybe it's gold. We're gonna come into an environment because everybody thinks that there's, think about how much money is being stored in debt instruments, those debt assets. All currencies have a lot of debt. And so when you look at one relative to the other, there will be a lot of printing. I mean, currency equals debt. And when you hold a currency, you're holding a debt instrument. And so all of those will um, decline in value relative to other things. Now, will the dollar decline more than other currencies? It's almost certain that we're going to come into this environment. We're in this environment. In other words, there's a shifting of the, those currencies. Um, so you're going to see more of China's RMB being used. You're seeing Italy, uh, India have a direct link uh, with Russia on the uh, currency. So we're an important change in the currency. 
But how that is a store of wealth is a different question. So uh, a, a currency is a medium of exchange and a storehold of wealth. And its storehold of wealth um, is now a problem, particularly for the dollar, but it's also a problem for other countries. So that's why you have inflation as money goes into other things. And the, and the cost of borrowing is so low relative to the inflation rate then it encourage, encourages the borrowing of money and the, and the sale of money. There's a, there's a whole um, relationship between cash, bond yields, and equity returns. So every investment is an exchange of a lump sum payment for a future cash flow. And so the cost of money is a consideration based on relative to the return on money. And so when we look at that return, when we say I can hold cash or I can hold a bond, uh, that changes the inclination to hold cash. But also one has to look at the return, on, expect a return on equities. In other words, one calculates the present value of future cash flows, you estimate so no, it's important to take a look at that relationship, that yield curve structure that way, but um, you should go beyond that and include the returns of other assets. What can you do in the way of generating returns relative to the costs of um, money, the relative attractiveness of those instruments? You have to have an economy in which uh, the people believe you, that you have a fair system and you have to have productivity. So I would say the most important thing is the redistribution of opportunity to make people productive and to eliminate um, the internal conflict or to reduce the internal conflict, which can be so disruptive. When you see um, large wealth gaps and at the same time you see economic problems, you have a lot of internal conflict and that internal conflict is bad economically and it's bad socially. So yes, I think it, but it's not just the wealth gap. It is the productivity level that results. So um, yeah, the wealth gap is a problem. The opportunity gap is a problem. The productivity that um, allows, and productivity could be measured in what you earn relative to what you spend. So yes, all of that, um, th that gap is an, is an issue. And it's certainly going to be a political issue. Do hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel.